Praise the Lord. All right, today's word of the day. <clears throat> and I don't think Pastor Knight knew that this was the word of the day. I'm sure she didn't, and that she was really touching on this in her testimony. Um, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Amen. Praise the Lord. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, grace and peace comes to us in the knowledge of God and Jesus. Praise the Lord. And, and um, he's given us all the things necessary. It's really just about him working out, getting rid of all the things in us that get in the way of us walking with him. And he continues to increase or bring us closer to himself. Praise the Lord, as he did through Pastor Knight's testimony today. Praise the Lord. Uh, and so knowledge of him, we see in 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 through 6, it says, by this... We know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this, we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him and ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a tall order right there. Those are some big giants in the promised land. But guess what? He who began a good work in us will complete it. To know him is the end of this. And I didn't have it in here, but later in this chapter, as was shared in the Bible study on Thursday, it says, Blessed are you fathers, for you have known him who is from the beginning. And that is knowing Jesus in an intimate way. And that's how we how we grow is to know him not ourselves not this world nothing else but to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness get to know the one who gave it all for us and that is how we come to peace that is how we come to be able to walk in his commandments which is to love god and love the people around us without failure and then that love is going to be perfected in us and we will know him like a husband knows a wife and a wife knows a husband that is the uh, end of our journey in coming to him. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you uh, that this is your plan for us. And so we ask you to do that very thing, to just turn our eyes from worthless things, including ourselves, and turn our eyes to you. Give us a hunger to get to know you above all things. You'll take care of everything else. Your word says, seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and all these things will be given unto us. Help us remember that. Convict us when we're wasting our time and, uh, and grieving you. And do this work in us, Lord, because without you, we would all go astray. We thank you for this word. We, we look forward to love being perfected in us and seeing your face. We thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Amen.